for four minutes when we deplete those propellants we'll shut down the engines and that booster stage will separate from the Centaur upper stage and for a few seconds we will flow uh, cold propellants through the Centaur engines to condition them before we actually light the engines uh, then we'll light the engines for the first of two Centaur engine burns. That first engine burn will last 11 minutes this morning, and that will put the Centaur with the payload attached into a low Earth parking orbit. Uh, eight seconds into that first engine burn, we'll also jettison the payload fairing, as you saw right there. Now that parking orbit will have a perigee of 95 nautical miles, and at its highest point, its apogee, it will be at about 3,700 miles of uh, altitude and that parking orbit will last for 87 minutes, almost an hour and a half this morning. That's how long it will take to get to the location we need to be at for the second engine burn. Uh, we'll light the engines a second time uh, once we get there, and that uh, second engine burn will last about three minutes, and that will put the Centaur with the payload attached into a geosynchronous transfer orbit, which is where we want to deliver the payload this morning. Three minutes after that final engine shutdown, we'll send the command to separate the spacecraft, and as you can see, the spacecraft solar panels will, become, will begin deploying immediately after separation. Well, this uh, particular flight, I guess, has got a lot of Atlas Centaur history built into it. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, it, it does, George. One unique milestone uh, for this flight is that this will be the 100th launch of our commercial Atlas Centaur. Now, Atlas and Centaur have been around for a long time, and they've, they've flown for uh, uh, a lot more than 100 times. In fact, uh, Atlas uh, itself has been flying since 1957, and it has flown 601 times to date. The Centaur uh, first flew in 1962. NASA developed the Centaur to provide a high-energy upper stage that had both the, the energy and the accuracy required for lunar and planetary missions. In fact, uh, the first set of missions that Centaur flew were the surveyor missions that paved the way for Apollo back in the 1960s. So Atlas has flown 601 times to date. Centaur has flown 190 times to date. Uh, after about 30 years of flying back in the 1980s, we began what we called the commercial Atlas Centaur program. And since the inception of that commercial program, uh, this will be our 100th flight, and coincidentally, the first flight of that commercial program back in July of 1990 was also a NASA launch. That was the, uh, the CREST mission, the Combined Release and Radiation Effects Satellite that we launched for NASA in July of 1990. Well, Vern, thanks very much, and uh, hopefully, uh, winds be willing, we'll be lifting off here in about another uh, less than an hour now. Yeah, thank you, George. We're at uh, T-minus 44 minutes, 3 seconds, and counting this is Atlas Launch Control.